Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 3rd of July to the 7th of July 2017. For those of you watching these videos for the first time, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the US dollar index and then oil. And then we're going to run through a number of currency pairs that we're looking at this week. And we're going to look at the key support and resistance areas in those currency pairs, as well as highlighting some targets that we will be looking at in those pairs for this coming week. So I hope you all had a great weekend. Let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index. Now we can see the US dollar index was in a range previously highlighted by this resistance area over here and this support area down here. Now we also had an intermediary point in this range, which was this blue level here. And we were sitting at the top of the range over here. And last week we did point out that we were in a range, but we were looking down to the intermediary point of this range. And as you can see, price broke through the intermediary point of the range and continued down to the bottom of the range around the 12,104 area down here. Now price did actually break through the bottom of the range around the 12,104 area here. And after breaking through that, it moved down towards the 1208 area, which we didn't have highlighted on the forex forecast last week however this was a target we had been looking at and highlighted in previous forex forecasts from about two or three weeks ago and you can see once it traded into the 12.08 area down here we did get a little bit of a bounce and we've got a pullback in fact to the bottom of the range here at the 12.104 level so because of this we are looking at bearish sentiment in the us dollar index however because it have traded into a very significant area at 12080. We are going to be very cautious next week and we're going to go into next week with a bearish to neutral bias on the US dollar index. Bearish bias because it has now broken the bottom of the range, traded into the 12080 and pulled back to the bottom of the range. So we could now be seeing further declines in the US dollar index as it makes new lows. If it does this, we're going to be looking next down to 12030 area down here. However, we also have the neutral, the bearish to neutral bias on the US dollar index because of where it's sitting between a very significant support area and also the previous resistance of the bottom of the range. So what that means is if we get a break back above the top here into the range, we're going to be looking for potential moves up towards the 12148 area of resistance. That's why we have this highlighted as blue. And as you can see, you also have confluence here with the downward sloping trend line. However, if we start to break down below the 12.080 area and we start to make new lows, we're going to be looking for a continuation of the trend in the US dollar index to the downside. And we will be looking for the 12.030 area on the US dollar index. So we're prepared to play this either way next week. We'll just have to see how the US dollar index plays out. Bear in mind, we do also have non-farm payrolls next Friday. So that is something to consider going into next week. Next, we're going to have a look at oil. Now, oil did trade into a very significant support area over here at the 42.181 area down here. Upon trading into this level, we did say we were looking for a retest of the downward sloping trend line and possibly even a trade back to the 43.752 area of resistance here. Now, we did get price bouncing up into this area of resistance and in fact breaking through both the downward sloping trend line and also the resistance area of 43.752. And we said if this happens, we're gonna be looking up to the $45 a barrel mark, which was here. And as you can see, price traded into this area. And it did act as a form of resistance. And you can see for a number of candles here, price stalled, but it did continue to break higher and it did continue to carry on this uptrend that we're looking at here in oil. Now, as a result, we go into next week with a bullish bias on oil. We are looking for price to trade into the $47 a barrel area up here, as highlighted by the blue line. We see that as an ex 
key area of resistance on oil. However, what would be nice is if we did get a pullback and a retest of the $45 a barrel mark down here. If we get a move back down into this area, we're going to be looking at initiating longs on oil itself. So not just using it as a barometer for the Canadian dollar and for the Mexican peso, etc., etc. But we will also look at initiating longs on US oil itself. And we'll be looking to take longs up to the $47 a barrel mark up here. So the first currency pair we're going to look at is the Euro US dollar. Now the Euro US dollar broke out of the top of the overall range, which was up here near the 1.1285 area up here. And as you can see, once we got a break out of here, it did in fact continue to the upside and it is now sitting up near the 1.1400 area over here. Price is accumulating and we do also have a resistance and support level at the 1.13856, which was broken as resistance and is now looking to become support. Now, since this is in an uptrend and we can see price accumulating above resistance here at the 1.13856, our preferred moves on the Euro US dollar next week are long positions to carry on the trend up towards the 1.15290 area, which is the next key area of resistance on this pair. So if we get a little pullback to retest the broken resistance level and it acts as support next week at the 1.13856, we're going to be looking for bullish formations in this area over here, and we're going to look at initiating longs up towards the 1.15290 area of resistance and to continue this trend here. Now, this will obviously be dependent on the US dollar index next week as well. If we do see a bounce from the support level in the US dollar index, we may see a break back down through the 1.13856 area of support here. And if this area of support fails and we see a bounce in the US dollar index, we're going to be looking down towards the 1.12857 as the next key area of support on this pair. However, because it is in an uptrend, we would favor the longs on this pair and we're hoping to see it sustain itself above this support level over here at 1.13856. And then we can initiate longs up to the target of 1.15290. Now, the next pair we're going to look at is US dollar Japanese yen. Now, last week we were looking for potential shorts from the top of the accumulation area over here, and we were looking for potential moves back down to the 110-300 area of support down here. However, as you can see, it did in fact break above the resistance area of 111.794, and it did start to make new highs and trade into this area over here above the 111.794. So this week, as long as price can stay above the 111.794 area of support, we're going to be looking for a pullback and maybe even a retest of the 111.794 or possibly even just a retest of the 112 psychological level. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs on the US dollar Japanese yen. And we're going to be looking up towards a target of 113.703. The next pair we're going to look at is pound US dollar. Now last week, pound US dollar did break above the key area of resistance at around the 1.28087 area. Now remember, these are areas of resistance, these aren't specific levels. And once it broke above here, you can see there wasn't very many pullbacks here. It did in fact come up, take over the high over here. And it did start to push higher and it is now making its way up towards the 1.30472, which is the next key area of resistance on this pair, as you can see. Now, again, next week, in terms of this pair, we will be looking towards the US dollar index. If we start to see the US dollar index failing at support and we start to see the GBP USD pushing higher and pushing above the 1.30472 area of resistance here, then we're going to be looking for some accumulation in this area, potentially a pullback and a continuation of this trend to the upside. And we are going to be looking for the next key area of resistance on this pair towards the 1.31445 area up here. If, however, we see the Great British Pound US dollar trading into the 1.30472 area of resistance up here next week and reversing, we could be looking at a pretty deep pullback here 
and possibly even a move all the way down to the 1.28087 area of support down here. Now, preferably because this is an uptrend, we would like to see new highs being made and a break above the resistance area at 1.304 roughly. And then we can look to initiate longs up to the 1.3145. But if the US dollar index holds at the support level, we could see a reversal and we could see a pullback in this pair. So just keep that in mind for next week. The next pair we're going to look at is Aussie US dollar. Now, as you can see this week, similar to the Euro US dollar and also the pound US dollar, we are anticipating potential trades in either direction on these pairs because of where the US dollar index is sitting currently. Aussie US dollar has traded into a significant area of resistance at 0.7692. And as you can see, it's just sitting at this area of resistance now. Now, as a result, we could see this pull back down to the broken resistance level over here at 0.76387 roughly. So if we see US dollar index bouncing from the support level, which is at now, we are going to be looking at initiating shorts in the Aussie US dollar. And we're going to be looking to the downside of 0.7638, which is the previous area of broken resistance over here. And we're going to be looking at this turning support. Now, ideally, we'd like to see a continuation of this uptrend. And what that would mean is fresh highs being made and a pullback and a confirmation retest of the resistance area where it's sitting at now of the 0 0.7692. If we get that kind of price action, then we are going to be looking to initiate longs from this position. We're going to be looking for bullish formations in this area. And we're going to be looking to initiate those longs up to the 0 0.77500, which is the next key area of resistance as we see it on the Aussie US dollar. The next pair we're going to look at is New Zealand US dollar. Now, as you can see, New Zealand US dollar is in an uptrend and it is making fresh highs. So we anticipate a continuation of this uptrend next week. And what we're going to be looking for is a pullback towards the upward sloping trend line and also the previous broken resistance area of 0.72984. Now, if we get a pullback into this area here, we're going to be looking at initiating longs and we're going to look for bullish formations in this area. And we're going to be looking for a target of 0 0.73750 to the upside on New Zealand US dollar. Now, we are not going to be looking at initiating any shorts on the New Zealand US dollar next week. We would have to see it trading into this area and a significant reversal on this pair before we looked at shorts. But if we do get a bit of weakness in the US dollar index next week and we do get a pullback and we get those bullish formations in this area, this is a great area to look to initiate longs up to the 0 0.73750 area on New Zealand US dollar. The next pair we're going to look at is Euro Pound. Now, Euro Pound rejected last week from the significant area of resistance at 0 0.88276 up here. And as you can see, it did actually break out of this upward sloping trend line, price having been squeezed for a number of days at the top here, as you can see. Price started to sell off at the end of last week, and we are going to look for continuation to the downside in this pair. We're looking for an overall target to 0 0.8655, the area of support over here. Now, what we'd like to see is some pullbacks in this pair before we look to initiate shorts to the downside. And we may even get another pullback up towards the broken trend line or even this key area and a retest of the resistance area at 0 0.88276. Now, a pullback and a retest of this area over here may be a little bit ambitious. So we are prepared to go straight into next week with shorts if we see bearish formations appearing in this area where it's sitting right now. And we will be looking for a target down to the 0.86552. The next pair we're going to look at is pound yen. Now, pound yen last week broke through a number of key levels of resistance over here. And as you can see, it started to pull back towards the end of the week down towards the broken area of resistance at 145.045. So we're going to be looking at continuing the uptrend next week. What we'd like to see is a pullback into this kind of area here, possibly even a retest of the 145.045. However, it may have been already tested over here. As we know, these are areas. These are not specific levels. So we are going to be looking for bullish formations to form in this area over here. 
And if we get those bullish formations appearing in this area, we're going to be looking at initiating longs on the pound yen. And we're going to be looking for a target to the upside of the 148 psychological area, which is up here. The next pair we're going to look at is Euro Oz. Now, last week, Euro Aussie broke above the area of resistance over here at the 1.4825 area, roughly. Price did start to correct this move here and as you can see forming a continuation pattern known as a bull flag as a result we go into next week with the price retesting the broken area of resistance at 1.4825 and we're looking for bullish formations to appear in this area to initiate longs and we're going to be looking for a target of 1.5090 roughly to the upside on this pair the next pair we're going to look at is aussie cad now, as you can see, Aussie CAD has been in this wedge pattern here for quite a while and it has been correcting. However, last week, as you can see, we broke down below the key area of support at 0.99935 roughly. And we also started to push out of the bottom of the wedge pattern over here. Now, as a result of this, we are looking for further declines in the Aussie CAD next week. And we're going to look for bearish formations in the area where it sits now. And we're going to look to initiate shorts in this pair down towards the target of 0.98820, which is the next key area of support on this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is Pound New Zealand. Now, last week, Pound New Zealand broke above the resistance area of 1.7648. Towards the end of the week, it did start to correct and pull back down towards this area. So what we're going to be looking for is a potential retest of the support area at 1.76483. So a retest of broken resistance turning to support. And if we get a retest of this area next week, we're going to be looking for bullish formations in this area. And we're going to look to initiate longs up towards the 1.799, or you could say the 1.8 psychological area up here on the pound New Zealand. So if we get a pullback into this area and we get the right bullish formations that we're looking for next week, we're going to look to initiate longs on the pound New Zealand up to the 1.8 area roughly, which is the next key area resistance on this pair, as you can see, tested numerous times over here. The next pair we're going to look at is Pound Oz. Now last week Pound Oz, similar to the Pound New Zealand, did break above key area of resistance and is now retesting it. And that area of resistance turned support is the 1.6855 area. Price has started to accumulate in this area now, as you can see. And as a result, we will be looking for bullish formations to form in this area, possibly even a retest of the 1.6900 psychological area. And if we get those bullish formations forming next week, we're going to be looking up towards the target of the 1.71, 1, roughly 1.5 area up here. So we're going to be looking for those bullish formations to form in the area it sits now. And if we get those, we're going to be looking at initiating longs on the pound Oz up towards the 1.715 area of resistance, which is the next important area of resistance on this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is Aussie Frank. Now, Aussie Frank has been trending to the downside here in a corrective pattern and is making lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. And last week, it did start to pull back to an important area of resistance at 0.7382. Now, you can see this has acted as support and resistance numerous times here in the past. And now what we're looking for is a potential retest of this area over here. And we're going to look for bearish formations in this area over here. And if we get the right type of bearish formations in this area, we're going to look to initiate shorts and we're going to be looking for a target to the downside of 0 0.72500. Just bear in mind, as I've said numerous times before, that these are areas of support and resistance, not specific levels. So we may find that this has already fulfilled in this area, in which case we could see this moving down from where it currently sits now. So just keep that in mind when looking at this pair next week. And the final pair we're going to be looking at this week is New Zealand franc. Now we can see the New Zealand franc sold off hard from the 0 0.7100 psychological error over here. And since that sell off, it has 
slowly been accumulating in this area and it has been forming a bear flag, which is a continuation move to the downside. Now we are going to be looking for bearish formations next week in order to trade this to the downside and we're looking for further declines. And we have a target to the downside at 0 0.69148, which we see is the next key area support on this pair. Now we are getting close towards the 0 0.70448 area of resistance and support over here. In this case, obviously it will be acting as resistance over here, it acted numerous times as support and also resistance over here. Now, as I said, similar to the Aussie franc, these are areas of support and resistance. So we may find that this has already been fulfilled. If we don't get a retest of the 0.70448 area over here, and if it doesn't come up into this area, and if instead we do get the bearish formations in this area where it's sitting right now, we're going to be looking at initiating shorts from this area. And we are looking down to a target of 0.69148 as the next key area of support on this pair. So that is it for this week, guys. As always, please let me know if you like this video by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Do bear in mind that we have non-farm payrolls coming out next Friday, which is the first Friday of every month that it comes out. And it is an event that has the potential to move the market in a significant way. So it is something that should be considered when planning for your week ahead. So the only thing left to say is I hope you'll have a fantastic week. Take care and trade safely.